You might be saying, Matt, what on earth are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm pumping iron. I am pumping Beatles iron because I'm getting pumped up, baby. But wait a minute, what am I doing? I'm almost 60 years old. Am I crazy? Ah, oh, this is better. Ooh, ooh. Ah, yeah, that's much easier. <laughs> yes, I am getting pumped up. Are you getting pumped up yet? Where's your weights? Are you pumping the iron yet? Are you getting excited? Well, I certainly am. I'm getting pumped up. I don't know about you. I saw a video yesterday by Joe, me and Mr. Mayo, my friend here, and man, he got me pumped up. So let's get pumped up, because let it be is coming, baby. Yes, it is. It's coming. And so after I saw Joe's video, I got very excited. Ah, I got all pumped up about <laughs> I said, I got to go check this out. So I went online, looked at a few things. I think he was looking at something with Ultimate Classic Rock. I read that one later, but I found uh, an article on Variety online, and it talked about a lot of the things Joe already mentioned, that Apple record chief uh, Jeff Jones uh, was at this function, and they were, there were several things going on, but one of the big things was they were doing a preview, several minutes of the brand new Peter Jackson cut of the Let It Be film. Man. I mean, we've all heard about this. This has been coming for like a year now. We heard almost a year ago that Peter Jackson was going to be involved, and we got some tidbits back then. Uh, I guess people at this event were asked, please, you know, they were forbidden from photographing or videotaping or filming any part of this little preview. And basically, uh, just in a nutshell, that uh, they said that they were going to try to bring a brand new film to the public, um, they thought the original film was kind of depressing and dark in color and nature, just the whole vibe was kind of dark and down, and that this brand new film was going to bust the myth that Let It Be was the death knell for the Beatles, and it was, and, and we all know that story, but that this new one's going to be brighter visually and spiritually, it's just going to be a little brighter, There's going to, they're going to show some joking, the Beatles are going to be having fun, they're going to be singing and, and have silly accents, and be, they're going to rehearse Abbey Road songs, and we're all going to lose our minds as Beatle fans, well we've already all lost our minds, but anyway, we're going to lose our minds because it's coming. So I just thought, you all got that basic news, but I just want to give my take on it, you know, we're all fans here, we all have different personalities and different takes. I just want to say, folks, I am so excited, so excited. I mean, I, I could bring out all my Let It Be, but I don't want to go into that. Just I've got the, the old 1980s CD release. I've got my 19, 2009 release. Okay, I've even got my alternate mono mixes that I just got. You know, you want it in black, you want it in white, you got Let It Be, there it is. Folks, I just want to say I'm excited for this. I'm getting excited now after hearing the news and seeing it's coming, and I think you should all be getting excited too, folks, because this is going to be a wonderful year. Yes, I know back a couple of years ago it was great when we got Sgt. Pepper Deluxe Archive set, when we got the White Album a year later, last year we got Abbey Road, all fabulous, all fantastic. But this is a little different, folks. We're not only getting the film, I mean the, uh, the, the uh, audio, the new Let It Be uh you know, will probably be re remixed and all that stuff with uh, extra material and all that. This is something different from all the others. It has visual attached to it. Abbey Road, we didn't get any footage. There's no, like, footage. We didn't get anything with Sgt. Pepper. We didn't get anything with the White Album visually. With Let It Be, there was a ton of video footage, film footage, that could be used to enhance this release. And I think that, that makes this release much more special than all the others and is going to be a very unique experience for every one of us. Now, I know there's debate about messing around with the film. I have no problem with it, okay? Um, I will reiterate what Joe said in his video. If it's filmed on tape, <laughs> if you've got audio and visual of the Beatles having fun, that means they were having fun. If you have audio and visual of the Beatles being down and grouchy with each other, then they were down and grouchy with each other. It's there, okay? They're not going to play around with the, the film and, and uh, you know, fly in voiceovers to make it when uh, Paul and George were arguing to make them say, like, hey, would you like a nice cup, cup of tea with me later, George, if you'd like? Oh, yes, thank you, Paul. <laughs> They're not going to overdub 
words and, 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 and images and stuff. It is what it is, okay? So if Peter Jackson had, I, I guess he had dozens, I, I forget what it was when we were talking about it last year, like 56 hours or something of film footage, I forget what it was, but it was a lot of film footage. And you have to figure only a portion of that was used in the original Let It Be film. So was that a complete picture, what we got in the original film of what was going on? No, not really, because we only got like, what, an hour and 20 minutes of what they edited together, and very sloppily, I might add. Okay, let's be honest, the sound quality, visual quality, and editing of that original film was kind of lousy, let's be honest, okay? But it is what it is. It, it's a, uh, it's, you know, it, it's always going to be a classic in the canon of the Beatles career, and like we all have been saying, let's hope they keep the original as it was, clean it up, clean up the visual a little bit, maybe better sound, but release it as is, as an extra bonus, as part of the Let It Be Deluxe packaging this year. I agree with that 100%. Let's keep the original film, let's have access to it, so it's still part of the history of the Beatles. However, with this new film, go for it. That's my, my impression. Peter Jackson, his team, do whatever you want to do, all right? If you've got 56, nearly 60 hours of film to play with to edit a film together, all the better for us to get a better picture of what was going on at those sessions. Let's see some grouchiness. Let's see some grumpiness. Let's see some dourness. But let's see the fun stuff, too. Let's see happy beetle times. Let's see laughing and joking and singing together and dancing and all that fun stuff. Let's see it all. Edit it together in a beautiful wonderful film that we can all enjoy and truly appreciate and look forward to and i think that's going to happen so folks this is just a quick video i just want to say let it be's coming uh i guess the rumor is that maybe this spring will be the audio stuff the deluxe package and the remix and all that and that sometime in the autumn will be the peter jackson film and with hopefully the restored original film, but that should be coming soon uh, this year. So we don't have a time frame yet on when all this is coming, but it's sometime in 2020. It's happening. So, folks, let's get pumped up. You know, for us lightweights, we'll use this. For you heavy weights out there, you can use this one. Whatever you want to do, but let's get pumped up. Let it be coming. I'm excited about it. Great news. See you soon. Bless you. Bye-bye.